Hi, yeah, it's Reni here from Reni Creative. Today I will show you how to use Bubble Scout, the Red Bubble Niche Research Tool. I will show you step by step, so if you would like to follow me along, then uh, you can do that. So let's just jump into the topic. Hi, yeah, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I had a question about this, uh, what niche research tool I use. So uh, I thought I will create a video about uh, this uh, Bubble Scout, what I use. So I will show you how I use it and how you can uh, use it as well uh, when, you, when you are looking for uh, niches, which is actually is a lower competition. Um, but recently I started to use another uh, niche research tool as well, and I started to use actually together with the uh, Bubble Scout. Uh, this is Bubble Spider. I will show you that one as well in a next video. So actually, if you would like to uh, see uh, that video, then uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would be really appreciated. And uh, also... Um, uh, just uh, click on the notification bell, so you will be notified when I upload uh, that uh, video. Uh, thank you. Uh, so let's uh, just start uh, straight away. So actually, what is Bubble Scout? As I mentioned already, this is a niche research tool for Redbubble, and uh, this is a um, Chrome extension. So what you would like to do, you want to go to bubblescout.com. So actually, I already like set up for you, so I can show you. And uh, once you're here, you have actually the link, uh, Try Bubble Scout. So you can uh, click that, or if you just uh, scroll down and uh, get the Chrome extension for free. So you just uh, click on that one. And um, once you can see, uh, as, as uh, you see, I already have, so it says remove from Chrome, but uh, uh, I don't want to do that. So... Um, I think for you it will says like add uh, the Chrome extension or something like that. So you just want to click on that and uh, you will see the uh, this uh, red dots will appear on the right uh, corner, up, upper corner. And uh, you will see, so you can uh, use uh, straight away after that. So I just close this one and uh, let me just show you how does it work. So... Um, because I already had this uh, extension here, you can see the top 20 trending searches, the top 20 popular searches, and the top 20 popular product types. So uh, the top 20 trending searches, so if you scroll down, you can actually uh, here uh, see all of them. What is the top 20 is uh, trending now, and uh, also the, the top 20 popular uh, searches, like the, the hydro stickers is the first one, the anime stickers, funny t-shirts, and uh, uh, the top 20 produ uh, popular product types is like a stickers, t-shirts, posters. So you can, if you scroll down, you can actually um, actually check and you can see. So let's, uh, let's see how does it work. As I already uh, checked one of them for you, so I will uh, go with that one. I just need to find, um, is, which one was that? Yeah, so my class is full of lucky charms, so if you click on that, then uh, it will uh, show you uh, how many results we have, and uh, also is uh, the competition, why is it a low competition, a medium competition, or, or is uh, like a, like a high uh, competition. And the good thing about that, so actually you don't need to uh, open a new new tab here, because actually uh, once you already chosen uh, the particular uh, niche you are looking for, then uh, actually is uh, is uh, coming back again. So you can see uh, again the top twenty trending searches and the popular searches and the product types. So it's uh, really great. I really like uh, this one. Uh, because of that, so um, it says it's low competition, so um, what you want to do, you can see the most relevant, but you want to choose the best selling, and 
and we just uh, wait uh, for a little bit and uh, we will see which one is the best selling and we can start from there. Yes, so this one uh, with a uh, text-based design is actually this is the best selling and you can see it's 1204 results and uh, at the termine competition and it will show in a minute so it's a low competition so actually with a uh, with a free uh, chrome extension uh, you can see uh, this one uh, the uh, if you have a low medium or high or very saturated uh, uh, competition and uh, you can also see the result if you would like to go further like uh, uh, the analyze and uh, the text then uh, you have a paid version as well, it's uh, roughly is, uh, $20, I believe, and uh, if you are in UK, uh, then uh, it's about um, £15, uh, and if you would like to get the, the paid version, just uh, click on the description uh, below, and... Um, and you can uh, get that. Uh, I am an affiliate, so uh, if you if you use it, then uh, I have a, a, score, a small commission uh, from that. And uh, also, I have uh, I can uh, I have a discount code uh, Renata ten. So if you use that one, then you can have a ten percent of discount. Uh, of course, you don't need to use it. You can just go straight uh, from uh, bubblescout.com and you can get from uh, there. But if you use it, uh, then uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, so, um, as you can see, because I, I have uh, the paid version, so if you uh, click on the red uh, dots, then uh, you can see you can analyze, you can copy text or a favorite. Um, so now we want to analyze. Uh, this uh, design just show you this one so you will see what it is oops might I just uh, press something okay don't worry we start again it's absolutely fine Okay, so now, yeah, because I wanted to show you, you know, the heading, so you actually see what it's all about, so you can see the image, uh, the product image, you can see the product uh, uh, itself, so I mean, uh, the, the, so what is the product, like uh, uh, the, the title, and uh, is it uh, the t-shirt, or, you know, when is the desk mat, so you can actually see what, uh, what product is this, and uh, you can see the, the price, you can see the estimated sales um, per uh, month, you can see the revenue per month, and you can see the knee score uh, as well, and you can also see the popularity trend analysis, uh, you can uh, check that one as well. So, uh, with this number, the higher the number means, actually, is uh, the, the more uh, popular and actually is more... more um, more sold as well so the four for example here is just a one sold so you want to check actually i just move myself a little bit so you can you can see better so for example here is five the knee score is five so uh, my class uh, my class is full of lucky charm stickers so there is this sticker and uh, is the uh, uh, free sales and this uh, the revenue is uh, two pound seventy it's about three or four four dollar or something like that and uh, there is another one this uh, is uh, more colorful scores is another five is another five here my class uh, is full of lucky charm sticker i will show you you can actually uh, click on that as well and you can see the the design itself so i will show you in a minute so there is another one five is uh, this one 
is an other five. I just want to check if there is any six or seven because sometimes there are some designs that actually there are tens as well, which is really really great because it's it's a lot of uh, uh, sales. I saw those before. Okay, so let's just check this uh, one of the fives we want to check. For example, I saw that uh, colorful one. Where are you? Yes, this one. So what you would like to do, you can actually check there. So actually you can click on this one, the design, and you can see the design here. So you can see this is how it looks like. You can actually uh, check the designer uh, itself if you, if you would like to to actually to uh, validate uh, the, the the niche. And also you can check uh, what kind of uh, text they use. So actually they use um, the same. So actually, unfortunately, it's a text spamming. But don't worry because... Uh, you can, i show you in a minute. Uh, I, I also have a video about that, uh, how you can uh, find, um, you know, the, the text as well. So actually here on Redbubble itself, uh, uh, there is a recommendation. I will just uh, show you in a minute. But if you would like to see uh, that uh, video I made about that, I just uh, will, like, above me i will uh, leave uh, that card and you can just uh, click on there and uh, check out uh, that video as well uh, so so i just go back and uh, i will show you in a minute uh, the text but i just wanted to show you so you can check the design and also if you go here the trend analysis and uh, you just uh, click on that is uh, actually uh, lead us to Google Trends, and uh, you can uh, check uh, the the trends over time. So, it's, uh, for example, it shows is United States, but you can check worldwide, and also you can check uh, any like past thirty days. It doesn't show anything past four hours. Okay, so it shows it's not enough data for that one past hour. It's nothing, unfortunately, but normally when you can uh, see any data, then actually it shows uh, you the, the trends, the lines, you know, um, when, when, is, when it was uh, lower, the trend, uh, when it was uh, uh, higher. But uh, actually, if we... Instead of that one, I just uh, write it for you, the San Patrick Day, because I just wanted to show you. As you can see, yes, now, so you can see interest over time. As you can see now, because it's, uh, it's, um, it's really close, we are really close, then actually the interest over time is uh, getting uh, higher. So if you would like to uh, create a design related to St. Patrick's Day, then uh, actually is, um, I think it's still a good uh, time. I can't remember actually, it's just double check, I think it's in March. So let me just... Uh, Day 2022. Yes, it's the seventeenth of March. So actually, you still have some time uh, to create uh, uh, designs uh, to that one. And uh, at the moment, for example, uh, this uh, this one, the my class is full of lucky charms. Then uh, actually, is uh, not too bad. Not uh, that. Uh, um, oversaturated so you can uh, still uh, create any uh, design on that one but to be uh, to be honest recently what i started to do uh, i started to uh, to uh, looking for tags which under 500 
uh, results. Uh, sometimes actually is uh, I I go like uh, more further. I mean like more or less like under 100. Um, so because you know the the lower the competition you have the more chance you have uh, to to be notified and uh, to to generate sales. So it's uh, always uh, better if you have lower competition. But of course, 1,204 results is still less competition than, for example, like you know the cat or dog niches, which is like uh, like hundred thousands of uh, competition. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's much better. So if you, if you compare or if you want to choose, you know, which one to choose, then definitely it's better to do, to go with this one than, you know, uh, than, uh, uh, with the oversaturated niche. Okay. So, um, let's show you the another one. So this one is a copy text. Actually, I already checked this one is, is again, is a text spamming. So, uh, so you don't want to do that. I mean, you don't want to copy that text um, because you know, it's text spamming is not a good thing. It's, it it can uh, harm your account as well, and this uh, so it's, I don't think it's fair with the with the other designers or uh, artists uh, here. Uh, so what you want to do, you just uh, scroll down. And uh, here at the bottom, you can see related searches. And this says like lucky class, lucky charms, teacher, teacher, St. Pat Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Irish, uh, Shamrock, I'm not sure about that, full, charms, school, kindergarten, teacher, my class is full of lucky charms, funny, math, um, Gifts, funny scent, uh, Patrick Day, Happy Patrick Day, Ireland Day, and uh, you can use like funny sayings or funny quote, or you can use like popular, artsy. Uh, I, I usually use the, the Instagram, um, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest as well, to be honest. So, and, and also, you know, when, when for example, you you use like a green color design or you use like a colorful design that I just showed you, then you can actually put as a tag like colorful, this what what I do, usually like colorful or you can use like uh, like black or or like um, like for example if it's colorful then colorful design. So it's it's uh, it's like something is related and this you know is better if you don't uh, repeat the words itself, because uh, Redbubble says as well, it's, it's actually enough if you use uh, the particular word uh, once, because, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, the algorithm is already know which one you use it, so it's, it's actually, so which one, um, um, for example, when you use, you know, the, the teacher St. Patrick's Day and uh, someone is looking for uh, that one, uh, the teacher St. Patrick's Day, then uh, actually if it's a lower competition, then uh, your, uh, your design will appear even if you, you know, you already used uh, once. So it's absolutely fine. Okay, uh, so, um, so this is uh, how you can uh, use it. I just want to go back. So this is how I use as well. So actually, I just I just double check uh, which uh, which one is a lower uh, competition. And uh, recently, I started to do that as well as I mentioned the bubble spider. And also, when I see uh, any uh, designs, um, which one is um, is actually is a bit like more unique uh, with a more unique title. Then uh, actually, I check uh, I check that one as well, and uh, and I check the competition. And if it's less competition, of course, I use that one. Uh, so, for example, if I find something like under five hundred, then of course I will I will uh, create a design um, for that um, that niche because that uh, trend uh, trending niche. 
because uh, you know as I mentioned so the less co uh, the less competition you have the more chance you have uh, to generate uh, sales so uh, so actually uh, that's it if you uh, this is what I wanted to tell you today so if you have any question uh, related to this and uh, if you would like to uh, see uh, how uh, the video that I just uh, mentioned uh, then about the bubble spider and actually I will show you as well how I started to uh, look for you know like niches uh, for example for for my uh, um, you know the video that I, I do every Monday now for you the the 10 low competition niches how I started to uh, look for it and uh, how I started to uh, to uh, find the niches which actually like lower with the lower competition then uh, just uh, feel free uh, to uh, leave a comment and just uh, actually uh, uh, leave a comment low competition and uh, I I, uh, I will know then uh, this is what you uh, what uh, you interested and you would like to see sorry I can't speak anymore <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> it was uh, yeah I can see it, uh, it's a bit uh, longer uh, video so if you liked uh, this video then uh, just uh, uh, please uh, uh, hit that uh, uh, like uh, uh, button it would be really appreciated and uh, also if you if you would like to see uh, similar uh, videos uh, like this or uh, print on demand release related videos as well <laughs> so I, I told you <laughs> it's fine uh, so, if you would like to see uh, these kind of videos, then uh, uh, just uh, uh, hit that uh, subscribe uh, button as, uh, as uh, it uh, helps me out uh, with the algorithm as well. So, <laughs> so finally, I could uh, tell you this, uh, uh, this sentence properly. So, uh, so, that's it from me today. And uh, I wish you have a have a lovely uh, day. Uh, here it's really uh, nice and sunny. Hopefully, um, where you are it's uh, nice and sunny as well. And uh, just uh, have a nice time. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.